Hey, hey, hello everyone and welcome to this very new episode of Research Done. As I've recently been on a creative flow, I thought you would appreciate one more video from this little series. And I know you would for sure. Especially that today's subject is all about nothing else but proboscis monkey itself. Building for them might be a little hustle and I've experienced it on my own skin, especially keeping in mind that they are able to swim. That's why I'm here with you today to help you design the best enclosure possible. But not to make it any more longer. Prepare your pens and notebooks as we are starting today's lecture. First category being size. Size of an enclosure for a proboscis monkey is a very long topic, and so I will try my best to make it as short as possible. I will assume you want to build a habitat for a group of those animals. Federation of Animal Sanctuaries made their minimally recommended requirements basing on a group of 3 to 8 specimens. And so, our friends from that organization mentioned a minimum of 511 square meters for outdoor enclosure for proboscis monkey. What's more, the enclosure should be higher than 3.7 meter and should allow monkeys to access at least 2.4 meter of that dimension. What's more... Oh. Hey boss. Why are you even putting room as your footage as the background? Because it's Ria... Catch that. B but, but sir, that's our most realistic enclosure yet. I don't know whether people can see it. Do what I pay you for and go with that script. The world. The world deserves it. <clears throat> Size. Once again. Proboscis monkey are very rarely seen in zoos. That's why me and my team has done a lot of research and put a lot of effort in creating the best guidelines possible. I think we've achieved perfection and you can see the outcomes of it on the screen right now. And so, according to our most recent findings, the enclosure dimensions for a group of proboscis monkey is 65 by 65 blocks, so about 65 by 65 meters, which gives us 4225 square meters of space. It's the maximal space we can use for the enclosure and we should give it all to monkeys. Housing. What are those categories even? Just read. Every monkey needs a shelter, but proboscis monkeys, due to the fact that they're humans in 99%, must be housed in normal housing units. There are some standards for them, and the smallest you can go with is a house with 3x3 block floor space. There's a variety of designs you can choose from, but remember about building them from cobblestone, planks and logs. They are the most proboscis monkey friendly materials, apparently. Security. As they are partially humans, special security protocols must be taken into account while keeping proboscis monkey. The most important of them mentions special care about door locking. You see, monkeys are able to open doors. Example. That's why whenever there are doors leading outside the enclosure, always consider replacing them with steel ones. They can press buttons. Enclosure layout. Proboscis monkeys must feel like home while being inside the enclosure, that's why you need to design the furniture layout properly. First off, there should be at least one point of interest within the enclosure, like well, market or meeting point. Just a place where your monkeys could gather together. From that place, roads should connect different districts together. The church district, the butcher's district, the farmer district. That's how you ensure right communications is provided and your monkeys feel like in real home. Feeding. With the hyper-realistic proboscis monkeys enclosures, you don't need keepers. Monkeys will take care of themselves. With developed skills of farming, they are able to breed animals, harvest crops, make bread and feed their offspring. That's why many zoos don't want to keep them. It must be so cruel when a child watches proboscis monkey butcher doing his job. Vocalization? Two minutes of proboscis monkeys vocalizing. Enjoy. Oh god. Huh? 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 Ah. 
cult. Proboscis monkeys are very religious, that's why you should give them an opportunity to pray. Their god is called Obiscus Monk, and he is believed to be an Asian monk from the Obiscus Valley who after escaping to the forest has become the father of Proboscis monkey nation. In honor of his life, you can build churches for monkeys to pray in, or if you are going for boring Ruma Asia style, which I do not recommend, you can go with a standard, simple shrine. Hmm. It says here it's all for today's episode. Because it is all for today's episode. But don't you think it's a little bit too short for a research done video, maybe? No. Then you want me to end it here? Yes, please end it. <clears throat> And that would be all for today's episode of Research Done. I really hope you enjoyed this little episode, because I did really enjoy it too, and I think it's my best episode yet. It's definitely the most realistic episode yet, as I've done a lot of research to create this little episode. I want to encourage all of you to build more Proboscis Monkey enclosures in the future, using uh, the techniques I presented to you in the video, so maybe real life Zeus one day will catch those mechanics, catch those ideas and they will build uh, enclosures in similar, very realistic style and then we can see proboscis monkeys in every corner of the world, including Warsaw Zoo or I don't know, Berlin Zoo. But not to make it any more longer, maybe you should consider liking, maybe you should consider commenting or maybe you should even consider subscribing and I will speak to you in the next episode. Goodbye! So, how did I do, boss? Did I do any good? Yes, you were perfect this time, my friend. Uh, can you please do me one more favor? Yes, of course, boss. Can you please look out of the window? Yeah, uh, I'm not seeing any Hans, can you please contact that new educator? I think we have an open spot for the research done post.